Welcome to Bible Journaling with Sarah and Jesus. I am Sarah. I am Pastor Mario's wife, and I have a passion for sharing Jesus and a passion for Bible journaling. I really, really uh, believe it's a good way to express um, what God is speaking to you in His Word, and it's also a beautiful way to do that. So um, today, I this is my first time doing this uh, as like a recorded thing, so uh, just bear with me. But before I do anything, I'm going to start with a word of prayer, because everything uh, that starts with prayer is blessed. So let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this time together. I don't know who's going to be watching this. But I just pray that you be in that place with them right now. I pray that you would speak to them through your word. That you would uh, allow them to see you uh, more clearly and what you want to say to them today. We love you, Jesus. Amen. All right. So, first things first. If you're a newbie to Bible journaling, um, I kind of still am, but I, I have gone th through... A few classes so um, Bible journaling I want to just emphasize that it is between you and God so this is just a special time I hope that you have taken uh, time just with you and God to set a uh, special time to do some art in your Bible and to see what God has is gonna say to you um, of course spending time with God is what the purpose is about and when you could do it, of course, it, this says every day. I know that I'm, man, I'm realistic. That can't always happen. We're going to worship Jesus in all sorts of ways. This is just one. But um, whatever you can do, that's wonderful. So a comfy spot, definitely. I like to create a place where I feel peace, where I feel like I can focus. Um, I preferably don't have the kids with me. <laughs> But I know that's not always possible. Usually maybe after bed or early in the morning is really the best time to Bible journal if you're a mom like me, myself. Um, how it make time with God a priority? This is so true. Making t That is every day. And it, again, like I said, it doesn't have to be like this. But however you um, do it, I hope you... Uh, make God a priority and learn to just enjoy your time with God and um, really, really hear what he has to say to you. So um, the, the theme for today, so I chose this a while ago. We were going to do Bible journaling before the coronavirus and hold some meetings, but it, it just couldn't happen. Um, and uh, the theme that was going to be coming up that I didn't get to do with the ladies was um, on hope. And I just thought, wow, you know, during this time of being quarantined, having hope is so important. And um, I know there are different, different things that may be happening in your life where you feel like you really don't... You don't see past the tragedy. You don't see past the hard time that you're going through. But this is um, something that God's been uh, just brought to my heart through through Bible journaling, and so I'd like to share that with you. Um, the thing, the theme with hope for me is uh, clouds. So uh, the idea is that when you see clouds in the sky. Um, whether you're from the Midwest or from somewhere up north or somewhere south like us or from the desert, um, when you see clouds and let's say uh, you've gone through a really long winter and you see just a bunch of clouds and you just want to see the sun, all you can do is hope. When you see those clouds, you're hoping to see that sun peek through just a little bit um, and just to keep peeking through, right? And you're hoping that the summer comes soon. Um, so when I see clouds, I think of hope. And another way is also in the desert. When you see clouds, you think of the hope of rain. We are 
often in Southern California waiting on rain and hoping for rain. So clouds to me symbolizes that hope. Um, so to tie in with this emphasis on hope uh, and what God is gonna kind of do today for you, um, we're gonna do some clouds. And the verse I chose, um, and so this is, you're gonna go to Psalm, Psalms, let's see, where is it? 33, verse 20. Now, I'm just going to focus on one verse today, but of course, you know, reading through the chapter is always a good idea. Um, but verse 20 says, We wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Wow. You know, we've been wearing masks a lot. That seems to be our shield. <laughs> you could even do a mask in here if you wanted. He is our shield, right? Um, but yeah, so this, the thing that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to show you in a second, but um, after we, after I read a verse and I'm thinking about what God is doing and speaking to me with, um, I often listen to music or I will um, just sit in a peaceful quietness. So if you want to take a moment right now and pause this video and just read through this verse and through the surrounding verses in your Bible, um, please do that. Um, that would be a wonderful way to allow God through the scripture to speak to your heart. So now that you've uh, maybe returned from some time in the Word, um, and in this, in this specific verse and surrounding verses, I'm going to show you what I did. And um, I always start with, a lot of times, oh, I shouldn't say always, but a lot of times I start doing something on a different piece of paper just to see what it will look like and try to get the idea down. So um, I've got this kind of like scrap piece of paper. So you can see I was brainstorming all kinds of <laughs> ways of writing, scribbling. So if this looks like this for you initially, that's fine. It's just, you know, feeling what uh, what God wants to say to you. So this is what I end up, ended up doing. Um, a lot of the ladies that came last time to my house, um, they said they don't really want it to bleed through. And I know it's kind of hard to see, but um, you can't really tell, even though I, I do have this scribble, um, you can't really see it very much. And this is a regular piece of paper, so you might see it more in your thin Bible pages, but um, you can't see it too badly. And I'll show you in a moment what I used to do this. And um, they're pretty pretty simple tools. Um, so if you want to go get um, what I used, then you would get a black um pencil and color pencil and a dark like navy blue pencil or dark like a blue pencil and then I also used my um, Fair Castle um, black artist pen and that seemed to really really maybe I should do it this way I'm sorry this is new <laughs> here it is there you go. And it's a really thin, thin uh, one. And um, I really like it because it doesn't tend to bleed through very much. It's really, really tiny. So you can see, I don't know if the camera's gonna focus on it, but that's that. So you'll want like a nice thin uh, black pen. That would be ideal. If not, you can always use just a regular pen if you want or if you're comfortable with that. Um, at the end, I did use watercolor, some watercolor, and I used a thin little brush um, with my watercolors. And I also had some water here that I got ready, and it has three different, um, I put, I filled it up with clear water initially, just three of them. And I'm gonna dump that out and do that too with you right now, but um, for the sake of just showing you what it look, ended up looking at, looking like. And then my watercolors look like this. Yours might look different and that's okay. But the main colors I used was white and um, this darker blue here. And I think I used that one at one point just to see what it did. But um, mainly just those because I really wanted 
to stick with the, the kind of dark gloom, um, noticing the dark gloom, gloominess of this, uh, of this, um, of the clouds here. Like it's going to be a storm or it's going to, you're, uh, it's going to be something that was after a storm and it needs to clear or whatever it is that, you, um, that, uh, you want it to look like as well. So, okay. Um, since I have now all my tools, or if, if you need your tools, need to go get that set up. I also have a piece of paper behind here you can use. I'm actually gonna switch my newspaper and do just like a plain lined piece of paper and put that, cause it can kind of really get in there since I'm gonna be using some paint and so it doesn't bleed at all to any other pages and just make sure. Um, normally I would put gesso, it's called gesso, on this page and allow it to dry or uh, blow dry it dry. Um, but because I'm using pencil mainly, um, the gesso and color pencil don't mix well. Uh, the color pencil won't really write well on it. So I don't put, I'm not putting any gesso on mine since I'm using my pencils. If you're only using paint or only using that kind of pen, then you could use gesso first to help protect your page and help it not to bleed through as much so but I am using this little cup um, because I want that circle that I created in the middle um, to be really uniform so I just traced a circle with this um, so if you can find something that you want to use as your circle in your Bible that's small enough to kind of fit there that would be a good idea as well okay I'm going to just get myself um, some new water and I'm going to play a little song while I kind of get myself set up.
All right, so now that you have your items and um, maybe you saw me just start, get it started um, and do the little center, the main thought for today is we wait and hope for the Lord. Um, it's amazing. So I did do some writing around my original and I might change this up just in my Bible journal just because I see what it looks like on my page a little better. And here I had some space, open space in different areas. But uh, the main concept is to try to get these clouds um, and to create clouds around this little circle of hope. So um, I'm going to start with a black and I'm going to create, I'm just going to go around and create areas where that are just blank white. So I'm going to do the negative space it's called in drawing and um, just kind of leave white areas where I think I'm going to want some clouds. And so you're going to, you can copy kind of how I do it or you can do it your own way. Um, how, <laughs> however, it's fine. But this is just a little uh, help aid for those that want to see or kind of get an idea of how to do something like this. Okay, so I'm just going to play some, um, some music while I do it um, because honestly, I... If I, if I need to pause and talk to you all, then I will. <laughs> but I feel like just the example of, um, of, the, of the art will, will speak for itself. So let me just get this, this thing, get this going. My name is John Chambers. I'm sorry for the, I traveled deep into this. <laughs> the commercial. So I'm going to start with my black pencil, so that's what we're going to do once I get this music going.
Okay, I'm gonna pause there. Um, I feel, I just feeling like I need to leave a little space here. I don't know why, maybe I wanna save something for here, for Psalm 34 here, and maybe I can do something later there. Um, um, some of you may want the whole page to just have one theme and to not look like a hodgepodge. It's just up to you what you would like to do. Um, but I, so I'm just gonna start with this, and if I feel moved to continue on, I might. But um, we're gonna go on to the um, blue, and so with the blue, I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna. I like to have my clouds have a little bit of uh, glimmer of like lightness on the top part as if the sun is somehow like behind it shining in the back or towards um, um, around the top of them. So I'm just gonna leave some white space on the top and do the blue more towards on the sides or in the middle a little bit and then come out and um, just kind of formulate some more cloud uh, um, cloud-like <laughs> circles if I want. I don't know, whatever you want to try to do. I know you might be doing this first for the first time on your practice page, so um, try anything. And you can always, you know, decide that you don't like something and do something different in your actual journal. So um, I'm just gonna go and do the blue, um, the blue pencil now. I just keep thinking about how even though I feel like I'm in the darkness with certain situations, whether it's um, with something uh, that's going on in my family or with some 
something that uh, is going on in our community or something that um, is going on with our country, you know. Um, sometimes it feels like there's darkness and um, it, this is so comforting to know that in these cloudy type days or cloudy moments, even just like a moment in our life that, man, we just really, I don't know what to do about it. Lord, you gotta, you gotta help me with this. I have no clue how to handle this situation or how to make things better. And, um, just to, when you, just to think of, um, how Jesus wants us to put this stuff in his hands and he wants us to trust that even during this cloudy time or this cloudy situation um, or this cloudy prayer that just doesn't seem to be answered that we can indeed hope in him still and that the sun is still there and that it is still shining and or the rain is going to come Sorry about the, the dings. Um, yeah, so it's just a really cool time to be thinking about maybe the things that you are um, not sure about and don't know how to solve the worries of uh, your your day-to-day. And you're just kind of like, well, this is, it feels like a cloudy day, Lord, to me, or a cloudy situation, but Lord, I know that you are past this and bigger than this, and it allows, I'm just going to focus on, on you, and my hope that you're going to bring all of this, um, all of this into a bigger, um, into true light once once it's uncovered or once your the truth is uncovered and you know, what you want for me or what you want for our community and um, maybe you have hopes for our church maybe you have hopes um, of healing physical or emotional I don't know. messages from coming in, but okay, so I feel pretty good about my dark places and light pieces. I'm just going to go through and do maybe a little bit of black in the clouds just to kind of like really emphasize some of the dreariness or the, the rain cloud look. Like it, the rain is coming. Um, the blessings are coming. You know, but Now, this often happens where I usually end up liking what I actually did in my journal, but more than my practice round. So, have hope. <laughs> have hope. <laughs> and enjoy it. And you can always, you know, add to it later, too. You don't have to do it all in one time, one sitting. Okay. So now I, um, I'm really happy with how this is coming along. I'm just gonna keep this going, and I am gonna now go to my kind of journaling part of it. Um, so I actually might use this bottom piece for now that I think about it. But um, 
I wrote something here that went kind of all the way around and um, I'm gonna share it with you today so um, I hope that you're blessed as I was um, just reading about this and doing this um, having this journaling time by myself <laughs> this is a rare time by myself okay so uh, what I wrote is it's so hard for me to see in the darkness to see through the stormy clouds but when I look at them I see hope hope in the sunshine coming coming out hope and rain falling down I put my hope in the good God that's created me created all those around me and created this world around me I have hope and faith that he will show up in my every day and that he will come again soon to take um, to take his children with him in the middle of my storm I choose hope okay so um, maybe this is a place where you want to put the things that you are hopeful for um, those things that God was talking to you about while you're reading the scripture write those down um, maybe list all the things that you hope to see in yourself in your family in your church in your community um, and just see you know how God how God reveals himself to you um, as you hope in him so okay so during my journaling time I'm gonna continue to play the instrumental music and I just hope that you have some really nice journaling time right now I'm just gonna pray for you right now dear Jesus uh, thank you so much for this opportunity to think about you and the hope that we have in you and the hope that uh, we have uh, personal hopes that we have I pray that our focus would always be on you Jesus and um, it makes things that we're going through just seem like we can get through them <laughs> because you're here with us so I thank you so much for always being there and I pray that you speak to each person uh, watching today in your name, Jesus. Amen.
Wow, that was just, um, oh, that was just wonderful. Um, just really nice time. So now that we, you can see what I did. I wrote uh, my words in the black area. So in the negative space is what I ended up choosing. And uh, what's nice about these kind of pens is they can go over a pencil really easily. Um, and they can even go over um, paint um, once you've painted it on and it still will pop and, and work once it's once the paint is dry. Um, so, okay, I just see like some places that I, I do want to finish up this bottom part here, so I'm just gonna take a moment to do that. And then I'm going to start my painting. Okay, so I'm ready um, to start my painting. Um, and this is just really gonna be um, the thing that takes the longest. Oh, you might need also a, a paper towel. Um, is just kind of the mixing of it. So I'm gonna try to scoop this over a little bit so um, you can see me mixing and painting as well. So let me see if I can do that here. Okay. As much as I <laughs> as much as I can. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start by dipping my brush in the water. And um, I might still have some leftover blue in it. So this water is already changing color. But um, then I'm going to do the black color. So I'm just gonna go around, do, do, do. One, two, three, I could do as much as you want. And then look at how nice and dark that is. Um, 
Now, because it's watercolor, even though it looks dark in the little can, it doesn't really always come out like that. So I have to rinse out my brush to get a new color or to like add a color to this smaller one. I don't want to overwhelm my page with water. So um, the reason why I have these is just so I can rinse my brush out. Okay, then I'm going to go for my blue. Um, you can't really see it, it's right up here, but I just know that I'm just swishing it around in my blue quite a bit. And then I'm going to bring it over to my black. Just going to dip it and then just get that. I want to see like a darker blue. It's still looking kind of black to me, so. Um, I might try, here, let me try to rinse a little bit. I might try to get, um, like a lighter blue in there just to see if that'll bring my blue a little bit lighter. So it's not so dark, but it's still on the darker side. Yeah, that did it. Okay. Okay. So yeah, just, you know, play with it till you get the color you want. And then I'm going to just highlight the, since I'm starting with the darker one, I'm going to just highlight those darker spaces. Um, okay, so I, I do kind of like it just like this, but I feel like paint makes it just a little bit more, I don't know, I don't want to say special, but, um, and I just kind of do a little bit of more, more, so I was doing straight lines with my pencil a lot. Now this I'm kind of curving a little bit because there are like lots of little curves and stuff in, um, in clouds. I want to add some more, a lighter, I want to get this a little bit lighter than what I have it. Ooh, maybe that was a little too light, I don't know, that's fine. See, it's about art, it's okay if it kind of morphs into its Oh, thanks. See how dark that still kind of is, even though I really added quite a lot of the blue, like a darker blue. Okay. So I'm just, like I said, I'm going to go around kind of like emphasizing the parts that I already made with the blue and with my pencil. And just letting the Kind of like little cups of little like U shapes, I guess, is kind of what I'm doing. And just to keep the top of the cloud is to have that nice little light, like light euphor like euphoria, kind of sunshine feeling of it coming down. But see now you can see kind of the like how the cloud look kind of comes up, pops up a little bit more with this step. And um, I'm really happy that I didn't write over the clouds because now I can just like emphasize the clouds and um, not mess, you know, mess with my writing. Even though I, even if I would go over this with my Watercolor, this would not smear. Not well, a great thing about that pen, man. Gotta get those those pens. <laughs> yeah, if you really want to like get into Bible journaling, definitely recommend having a nice pen like that. So you're not worrying about it bleeding into anything and all of that. Okay, so I'm just gonna dip it. Um, it looks really cool with the color pencil too because okay I'm so sorry we got cut off um my husband Mario called me and so it like ended the video and I and um stopped the video so anyway I just was saying it looks really cool with the color pencil because it kind of creates like a shadowy 3d effect um but anyway I'm just so happy um that 
you guys were able to join me in this little Bible journaling um, time. And I pray that you, just, you were blessed and I'm so excited. I hope um, that you guys could maybe share some of your journaling um, art. I would love to see it. Um, just send it to the Palm Springs uh, SDA email. They have like a church email account or to Mario, Pastor Mario's email, that would be fine. Um, and um, we would love to see those, um, the Bible journaling that you guys did. So I hope you had a wonderful time and I hope to see you again some other time. Maybe we can do this again. Okay, bye.